Hello everybody, this is Dizzy Dragon welcoming you back to episode 2 of Super Smash Brothers. Let's get started with this. This is the second little bonus game. Everyone, once again, everyone has a different one. This is Pikachu's. Pikachu's is pretty easy, even though I did screw up on this on the very easy mode, which is the exact same thing, but I still just screwed up. Because I made a really dumb error, and I'll show you guys what it was in a second. There we go, that one's hard. That's probably the hardest one here. Make use of Pikachu's agility. Also here, I just, after this, I didn't know there was any, I thought there was something below me. So after this, I just completely just jumped down here and died, and didn't realize that you have to get back up here. Double agility. And that's how you do that. You have to be good with the double agility, which is really hard. I mean, not really hard, but really kind of easy. Just be... Like, after you do the first one, you just kind of have to get the timing right and throw over the joystick and get the other one. Result. Oh, gosh, Kirby team. I died like three times on this on my first run through here. This, it was, this is where I really started going down here, hill on the previous recording of this. Whenever I tried doing it and failed miserably. Hopefully it won't fail as bad. All right. I'm trying to figure out the shield and throw buttons because they're really mapped out weird as like to what Z. I don't know what Z is. I think Z Z might be L on my uh, Xbox controller, and I th think R. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I don't even know. I, I saw my Diddy Kong controller uh, mapping for my Xbox controller, so I don't even know how this is gonna work. But Oh, I'll take that. I love this uh, link hat for this. I think there's a bomb somewhere up there. Bam, Pokeball. Most useful one in the game. Give me another Pokeball, Chansey. I better get a hammer. Which I'll use to guard my tomatoes. You can't have my head. Only I can have my head. And the last Kirby, of course, is normal Kirby. But he will get dominated by the hammer. Don't expect me to taunt anybody. There is a taunt button in this game, but I don't know what button I have it mapped out to on this controller, so don't be looking for that. I might show them all later, so look forward to that. This, they just say Samus, but on the bottom it says Samus Aran. Just wanted to point that out. <laughs> Puppy, I told you to sleep. Don't pee on my bed. I might have to pause this recording and go take out the puppy. She's looking anxious. I just wanted to do... I'm actually still doing this recording before I've even released the final episode of Diddy Kong Racing. I didn't even mention the epilogue that I already have shot for it. Aw, oh, puppy. That is so cute. I just felt like recording because today I have a bunch of car stuff I have to do to go get fixed. So I just felt like getting some recording done before that. <sighs> if you guys ever hear little creaky like sounds in the background of the recording, that is me leaning back in my chair, which I do a lot. Metal Mario, just like normal Mario, except extremely heavy. And he has his own little weird little course. Two, one... Mario, you're gonna eat shit. <laughs> remind me, what, I, I know it's bad to laugh at like your own jokes, but I, I, I was I, I was rewatching one of my Diddy Kong recordings just to make sure you know like before I put it out that there wasn't anything I forgot to edit out of it. And I remember I don't even remember like trying to be funny. But I was I think I was really mad at just at Bumpa because I was just mad at him in general. And like I just remember like looking at Bumpa, I'm like, hey Bumpa. Eat shit. <laughs> I just, I, I don't know. I just thought that was really funny because I wasn't trying to be funny there. And I was just really angry at a computer player. <laughs> That's my. Uh, uh, anyway, this is my main strategy for this guy because, as you can tell, whenever you hit him, he doesn't recoil like most enemies. So that makes him hard because if you hit him, then a lot of the times he can just walk up and hit, do a little big smash attack on you like that. So my main thing is to either do these big smash attacks and die because a box has a bomb left in it. Hold on one sec. Puppy, 
Get off the bed. And onto the floor. Alright. Oh, Pikachu. Nice blue hat. Uh, my main strategy here is to just throw him. And that should hit him. There we go. Ledge guard! He can't take any more of this. Where'd the puppy go? Alright, um, we're gonna take a quick pause right for a second to where I can make sure the puppy doesn't piss in my room. So, hold on one second, guys. Welcome back, everybody. I am back from taking out the puppy, and she feels much better now she's playing with my other dog. And I'm gonna continue this. Race to the finish is the third bonus, it's the final bonus stage in this little uh, first player game. For everybody on every difficulty, it's the exact same, except for those little minion dudes, who I think are a little more stronger on the more hard difficulties. This guy right here is the one you have to look for. He will juggle you, that's what he did for me on the very hard mode. He juggled me for a good 30 seconds, and I almost did not win this. But this one's pretty easy to get through. See, so just <laughs> run around. if you're short like Pikachu, then it's no problem. Oh, that was a little weird. Okay, my own little bit of slowdown. And I never get slowed down because my computer is kind of awesome. I didn't want to brag, but I, I love my computer. <laughs> I, I custom built my own computer, in case you guys are wondering. Like, I didn't like make the parts, but you know, I ordered all the special parts, you know, and assembled it all together, and it's pretty cool. There's a side panel. And you can look at you can look at the insides. That's really cool. <laughs> Fighting polygon team, which I think they included just because every character just as kind of a joke because everything in this game is made up of polygons, as is everything with uh, this console generation. That's why I think it's really funny whenever, like, people used to, like, talk, like, about Laura Croft, you know, like, how she was, like, a big deal whenever, like, this game first, like, I, I don't know, like, whenever the first, like, kind of Tomb Raider game came out, and people were like, oh, man, look at Laura Croft there. I'm like, yeah, those are some good-looking polygons. Like, even as a little kid, like, never thought that was, like, a kind of a cool thing at all. Possibly because I was, like, four, but, or not, I wasn't four whenever that first game came out, like, I was, I was a little older than that. It was like a seven, probably. Uh, I'm not trying to hide the fact of how old I am. I'm 18. You can see that I'm, I'm, I've given that away on my channel. If you want to do, a, if you're going to do a little bit of research, then you already know that I'm 18. Man, that freaking ray gun will just own the crap out of you. I think they powered it down on the next one. Yeah, take that. Come down here and face my lightsaber. Which is so much fun to throw. Take that DK. Obviously, they just made DK a different color. I mean, some of these guys you can recognize for who they are, but some of them are just random. Like that Trinosaurus guy. I don't know if he's supposed to be a Pikachu or what. Oh no, there's our next death. Man, I don't want to have to game over on this. I don't want to have to do a game over on a normal mode. We're not going to get a game over, because we're going to be awesome. And we're going to get another Pokeball. With a Meow, which isn't great, but you know what? It's better than nothing. Take that Jigglypuff, who is... Haha, <laughs> big spoiler, another secret character. Jigglypuff. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I love throwing people, that's kind of one of the big things, just throw. If you want to be good at this game, just throw a lot. Did I just hit myself there? Oh, and I think we've got this done, because the hammer is so almighty in this game. They powered it a lot down in the next one. The hammer head can fall off, which will... Totally screw you, and then in Brawl, they introduced the normal hammer, which is very unstable, and then they introduced the super almighty hammer, which if you get that, you're so just going to pwn like you do with this one. 
I don't know what time we're up to on this recording. I need to start figuring out how many seconds are in 15 minutes. Because that's how much Cam Studio tells you. Oh, this is the boss, the master hand. In Brawl. Uh, in Brawl, there's a different in boss from Subspace Embassy. But in Melee, a hidden hand can come out if you verse under it under the right settings. And there was a big kind of thing where people thought that you could play as that hand, but you can't. It's a bunch of bullcrap. All those moves are pretty easy to avoid if you're just smart about it. And now that I've said that, I'm going to hit by a bunch of them. Like that. Oh, I thought I was going to come back over here. This, you want to avoid the first half of it and the second part. I always get hit with that second part because I forget about it. That one's pretty easy to get. Alright, this one, he can shoot, do one or two things. Sometimes he'll shoot one, sometimes he'll shoot two there. Shoot. Oh, he barely got me. You son of a bitch. Oh, that was a good one right there. Don't peek a peek, because that's what Pikachu does whenever he... That's his little sound thing he does. He goes, peek a peek, and that's what happens whenever he flies off. Die, you stupid hand. Do a move that I can easily avoid. Peek a peek a no. Don't get hit! And there's a three. Oh, this is close. Oh, man, that could have killed me. Yes! No! Game over! I was really worried about that. We finished him off with the Thunderbolts. Too bad we couldn't do it with the Volt Tackle, but that will be here till Brawl. I love Volt Tackle. Oh, goodness. 66%. Damage, that's not too good. Time to watch these credits. Let's watch some good credits. I love watching credits, because I get to talk. I have to feel bad about talking over stuff, because I love to talk. And that's why I do these LPs, because I talk all the time. Talk, talk, talk. Oh, I never really pay attention to the special bonus stuff. That's kind of just gibberish for me. I don't even pay attention to my end score, really. And there we are. Same thing as the entrance little movie, but now we have a blue hat. That's what we get for being in this game. We get a blue hat. Oh, this is my favorite. <laughs> As a kid, this is like the main... What button do I use to shoot? Uh, I don't know what button I use to shoot. I think it's A. I, I, I literally just, like, this is the whole reason I played through this game, is just to do this little cutscene thing where I get to shoot stuff. And they've made it, like, a lot more fun in Brawl. Like, like they go all out on it. In Melee. Melee was pretty cool. Like, they make it, like, kind of almost like Star Fox. It's like, why buy Star Fox whenever you can just beat Melee and watch the credits? Do, 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 do. Alright, there's a way to speed these up. I don't know how to do it, though. I'm just gonna keep on shooting stuff. Rare? Rare was the, did this? Did Rare do Kirby? I probably should know that. I don't think Rare made Kirby. Did they? I mean, it makes sense. It's, it's just like Donkey Kong Country. Four Kids production. Screw you, Four Kids. You totally ruined Yu-Gi-Oh! for everybody when they were kids. I guess everyone's wondering, I'm not even that big of a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! I know I have the Blue Eyes Soon Dragon as my little picture, but that's because my name is Dizzy Dragon. I wasn't, I'm not just a huge fan of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! or anything. Oh, that is so cool. I love I love looking at all these cool photos. Yeah, I'm a more fan of other shows like Dragon Ball Z or Hajime no Ippo. If you've never heard of that show, then go watch it because it's amazing. It will inspire you to be a badass.